Time is a social institution. Seven. I think it's been a week here now. Beautiful day, as you can see. Um, I am going out on my own. Fuck, that's the bus. So. Okay, sorry, I'm off the bus now. Um, one thing I noticed about Croatia is like they have the like green and red men, like for traffic lights, but they just like do not follow it at all. Like if it goes green and you start walking, like the cars are like already driving through it. Like it's more like a guidance? I don't know what the fuck, but like I've been hit by a car like five times. Anyway. So yesterday, um at sunset we went we got up really late and everything was quite slow yesterday, but we went to the beach for sunset rather than early. And I had the most like spiritual time ever for some reason. I was doing meditating because usually meditation in my head is like a bad association because I associate it with feeling so depressed and being desperate to feel better so I would try and meditate all the time and it wouldn't work and like it just has bad memories for me and I didn't like the whole like guided meditation and like shit like that but watching the purple palace and watching her meditate it's like made me realize there's so many different ways of meditating and that you don't have to just like sit and like do the guided ones or like you know like the stereotypical meditation whatever like she was just like having a moment with herself and thinking out loud and doing affirmations and stuff so yesterday i was like sitting like just um just at the shore of the water see look it's green but like the cars are already moving it's a hit me man anyway um i had, like cross legged in the water and the sun was on my face and i was listening to like an instrumental song on loop and I was just going over and over saying different affirmations in my head instead of like, I don't know, like trying. Like first I was trying to just focus on my breathing and like empty my mind. But to be honest, it doesn't really work for me like that because my mind is just too busy. So I started with just breathing and focusing on that. And then I just said loads of nice affirmations to myself. For example, like, um, I'm where I need to be. Everything's working out for me. I'm so lucky, the universe on my side, and love flows through me, shit like that. Like, it was just the most grounding and spiritual thing ever. Like, I 
appreciated it so much and usually like it's just really not my thing so I felt so good anyway long story short I decided I wanted to come to that on my own again today and I also want to do some journaling like obviously I have been journaling but I haven't been doing like gratitude and manifesting I've just more been like recapping what I've been doing so I'm going to do some manifesting affirmations and whatnot also another thing um I was Wanting to do, talk about, you know, when people say like songs like changed their life or like music really had an impact on them. Like I know, like music completely influences like my day to day and my mood and like in general, like and especially when um, my state was a lot worse when I was younger and I had to have my earphones in all the time. Like music really, really like was a big thing for me. But like specific artists and songs I never had like like I didn't know how people felt when they said that like music really changed their lives or saved their life or whatever um apart from Ease Up Kid by Hippocampus which is obviously the tattoo I have and my dad's writing okay great I'm gonna get by the heart again Hippo Campus, Ease of Kid. That like, that's when I remember feeling like, oh, this is what people meant when they said it saved their life. Because I remember like when I'd be really anxious in school, um, I'd listen to it on my earphones and like it really did just change how I felt. Sorry, so yeah, my point is that song and also Melancholy Hill by the Gorillas. For some reason that just like, that unlocks part of me for some reason I don't know that's what it just means so much to me but yeah those two songs and also I wouldn't ask you by Claire anyway sorry I'm going off topic anyway so recently like I've always been a fan of Fred again but after watching like his sets um from Glastonbury and stuff like I went down a wormhole of watching him and like I just think he's so talented, like it's so crazy talented what he does and like it's just so impressive and I just I love it and like it's such a unique sound that like I feel like nobody else is doing. <laughs> but yeah, so I've just been like, I feel like I've been spiritually awakened <laughs> by listening to him loads and watching him do it live and meditating. I'm just on a crazy, crazy boat. We at the beach now. This is the walk. So yeah. <laughs> Me again. Um, so I was on it there for like an hour and a half. But I got my meditation and my journaling in. But it seems to be like a hot spot for like primary school kids. Like, I don't know if they're still in school, but there's a lot of groups of like school kids on my lizard. So it was very loud, but I was able to get my meditating in before like most of them came. But Rachel J just got a job on the party boat because she wants to stay on and work because they like put you up in accommodation of free food and stuff. So she just got a job and I'm on my way to go meet her because she's with like the boss person and the guy who got her the job. Is this the one? Um, so I'm going to meet her, so I'm so chill for there, because it sounds so good. So I think we're going to go on the party boat tonight, um, and we'll be her first commissions.
I'm so glad I make myself another toasty. Even though I had five yesterday, which is literally ten slices of toast. I'm trying to grow my eyebrows back. I can't tell at all, but like, it's gonna be a long, ugly process. Okay. Hello! I'm wearing little shorties today, and like I literally haven't worn shorts since I was like 16 because like I only have shorts and stuff. But I'm wearing little shorty shoes, I feel. I feel like a little girly goo. Might as well give a little update um, on the travel plans as I'm walking to get a pizza for me and Ray. We're at the beach because um, we were committed to tanning today. Um, I don't know how well it's going, but we'll see you later. But anyway, yeah, I'm walking to this pizza. But yeah, so I'm flying home. Right, to Dublin on the 5th. And then flying back to Berlin on the 6th because it was just a hullabaloo to try and go straight from Split to Berlin. And it works out cheaper to go home. And I'm going to dump loads of my stuff because I overbought so much. Go back to Berlin to take my friend Sean because he's there for the month. And so many visits and um, I'm gonna stay there for a few days and then I'm gonna go somewhat into writing on my own like I have absolutely no plan for where I'm going or I haven't booked anything or booked into trains or anything and I'm staying on stuff on my own hey so just a quick intro to what the next part of the vlog's gonna be I was in a bad mood and I was about to fall asleep even though it's like 10 o'clock so me and Rach have decided to get crunk and we're gonna drink and play cards and get drunk and then watch The Walking Dead with Rachel because <laughs> neither of us are fucked to watch it now. So no, we're gonna I get drunk. I do wanna watch it, but I just really want to drink. <laughs> I'm not really fucked to watch it. Um, Cause I, the whole time I'm watching, I'm like, how do they make 11 seasons out of this? That is what I was thinking. Like, like it's good, but it's like, I remember I kept on episode three. Fire, yeah, like it's good. It's just like 11 seasons left because the Mossies are going to get in. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. But I'll turn the AC on because it's really warm. But yeah, so we were at the beach today. So we actually did, like we were outside all day. But yeah, so now we're going to get crunk with the last of our drink. Like, sorry, so everyone had like a big liter. This is how much is left of mine. And this is how much is left of Rachel's. And more than Rachel's. mine. And then other Rachel is literally, hers is like half full. Full fries on, in case we get a bit pecky poo. So well, you no, say- I'm actually drinking my first drink. No, 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 just be like- No, just, then, I'll, then I'll swig and say it's my first drink. But I'm already going. No, to be honest, it's really kind of freaking me out. Um, why, why? Drink it. This is me before my first drink. Oh, before. Wait, explain to them though. Okay, so her drinky drew. It's very lukewarm and we've no ice, but we do have this frozen bottle of water. So I'm giving it a whack and see if I can get some ice Smash. out of it. <coughs> okay. Is it filled with water? Well, like it's ice and there's water around the edges. I can't tell if that's plastic coming off her eye. Yeah. This is like smart. Or... No, I think it's really smart. <laughs> <laughs> like Rachel's help. Oh, wait. Maybe I'll be able to peel oh, off. Oh, careful. No, 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 careful. No, wait, stop. Off the plastic. Uh-huh. It's gonna be huge now. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. No, we're talking. <laughs> or, um, the freezer ice now. Take I just scraped ice, there, ice off the freezer floor and put it in my drink. Okay, give me your glass. So brilliant. So brilliant. Hello, party people! Um, it's my first time being in the apartment on my own. I was off gallivanting on my own today. God, I look very stressy. Oh my god. It's really annoying it wasn't recording the whole time. To recap what I just said then. First time I'm in the apartment on my own because I was out all day. I left at 12 and it's half five now and I'm only home because I need to spend a day on my own because as you saw last night, me and Rachel were drinking and I got grim very fast. Sad playlist went on to cry, but I wasn't able to cry. So I just felt worse and like blah, 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 blah. It was a bit grim altogether and needed the day to myself. So I went to the beach I went to the other day, had such a good time, started my new book, flying through it, got really tan. Pop yo pussy. Poo. 
think we're going out tonight and I'm just gonna invest in good vodka because the way that vodka doesn't even have a brand it's just called budget vodka it's so off-putting and like it tastes like shit oh well, yeah so I'm just gonna get a good old schmearn off for the next best thing if we do go out tonight so other than today I have only four days left here and turns out I am gonna have to go but I don't know where I'd want to settle, it's a whole thing. I'm treating myself today because earlier on my travels, I got a pack of Oreos, a croissant, and two bananas. They were gobbledygumped. And now, they oh my god. Okay, I took a shit and also take off, took off my makeup. Because like, I don't know why I just keep wearing makeup when I'm going to the beach. Because I want to pop pussy, but like obviously it's not. Um... Yeah, so sorry, now I can't, I'm all confused because I don't know what I said before it stopped recording, but we, m we might be going out tonight, might not be. Kind of want to shake my ass, but I don't know. Into the, in, I don't know, but anyway, I haven't had like any actual meals. Like, it's been bonkers what I've been eating. Like, every day I have about five or six Nutella toasties. And then maybe if I'm lucky, chicken nuggets and waffle fries in the evening. And then like Oreos and shit while I'm out. And I think there's been two days I've eaten pasta. Like it's just been horrific. Like so bad. Like my insides are like... And vodka. Anyway, so I treated myself to some chicken breast because... Hello, like... A chicken toasty. Like I don't know why I just haven't been making chicken toasties. Like if I'm having Nutella toasties... I might as well be making chicken toast seeds, you know? See, I don't want to deal with it. That's all. Hey guys. Um, just for context, I did more I did more henna freckles because I love how I look with freckles and I was getting a few but like not as not as much as needed. And I did Hannah Freckles the other day and it looked so slow so I added more. I'm kind of drunk because I was at the beach and I was having the best time ever and me, me and Rachel brought drink and we got cocktails and then we got dinner and then when we were walking back to the beach <laughs> I, I tripped. I tripped and I twisted my ankle the fucking crocs the crocs sometimes just like bend over and like my foot just like slipped out of it and like twisted and i tripped and i cut my knee and i twisted my ankle and i walked to the beach with them but like and i also i'm on a break from the pill so i got my period and the crumbs are little low. like i can't like hold on so i had to get a taxi home and like i literally had to walk to the taxi like limping um oh i'm in such a bad way it's just one thing after it's just one thing after another because the cramps and the period and cutting my knee and my ankle. I just have no pain tolerance. It's so sore. So like everything was just too sore and too overwhelming and the beach was just so busy with kids. So I was just like, I need to go home and the bus wasn't for an hour. So I got a taxi home and I'm making two Nutella toasties. Oh. It's so sore. Like I just... Yeah, the freckles look so stupid now and I put them on my eye eyebrows as well, but like when it washes off, you'll barely be able to see it. So like don't have a hissy fit, like it's fine. Um, the day after tomorrow, and then I'm going to Berlin and I'm gonna try getting a job. Yeah. <laughs>